Thank you, Michal. And uh, ju just a small correction. Uh, 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 budget Committee in the Parliament has a system of standing rapporteurs. So me with Madame Thomas, Isabel Thomas from France, uh, we are the standing rapporteurs for MFF today and tomorrow. It means that till the end of the term. So we are, wor we are working on everything which is linked to MFF. Changes on MFF, revision of MFF, and the future MFF. So that's why, <coughs> let me start with this short story about the budget, what it really means, budget and bu budget construction. And next to go to digitalization. Uh, recently, I've been invited to Sofia to the meeting on the MFF. And I have the strong debate with some of the ministers or vice ministers coming from the Ministry of Finance. And I just uh, presented the view, uh, just exactly uh, has been described by, by Michal Boni. I said that what we need in Europe is first priorities. Next, the question, okay, do we agree about priorities? Second, how much it will cost? And, th and th three, where is the money? I mean, where we can find money for our priority, we, we have priorities we have just agreed. And uh, we have to think where, how to find the money because we know how much it will cost. And the representative of the, of the minister, some of the minister of finance for the very rich countries, I don't want to, to name them, they said, are you crazy? It was maybe diplomatically a little bit different wording, but they, they said, are you crazy? It's not, it doesn't work like this. It, it's, it's not because I'm not economist, but a politician, but, but they said uh, we, we work in a completely different way. Our way of working is, okay, if how much money we have, uh, what we, how can we collect money, for example, through taxes? And when we know how much money we have, now w next we start thinking what we can do with the money. So I think this is exactly the difference. This is actually the difference because on the national level, the question is how money we have because of the economy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And w once we ha we know how money we have, how much money we have, this is the discussion what we can, we can do together, and how much money we would like to put to the co to the common policy. We, on European level, we are not working on the same way because we are not the state. We are the, uh, the international organization which is working on priorities. So I think this is one of the main, main <coughs> differences. So when you hear today the debate about the, for example, we will not give more than 1%, full stop. This is exactly the language of Minister of Finance. But uh, uh, when we discuss the question of digitalization in the MFF, is it the, the other way around? Okay, what we can do and uh, how we can collect money, for example, creating the new own resources, etc. This is first, I think, so we, we have to understand the philosophy of creating MFF, because if not, we will be in a trap, because we will d define the priorities. I mean, we, European Union, I mean, member states, European Parliament, we define the priorities, one day, and next day we will say, but we will not give more than 1%, full stop. So what about priorities? This is completely a contradiction, because priorities is for 2, 3, 4%, and we have one. So what, what we can do? I mean, cut priorities. This is clear. Or to add money. This is the general tension. But when we speak about digitalization, and I think we should, <coughs> we should be also aware of the context we are, we are living. So, for example, just, just small elements. We are discussing the question of, uh, we have just said, uh, 5G. We are discussing the question of, for example, the, the big data. We are discussing the question of the urban mobility, the question of health system. At the same time, at the same time, who, what is really important for the people around, around the world? The influence of, the, uh, of secret services for one, one state which is influencing the elections in another state using internet. So th this is the hot, hot story. This is a hot subject today, how it can be used. So we are starting sp sp to speak about cybersecurity. Uh, it, so it's not only about the positive elements. This is also about the dangers. Just two days ago, you, you, noticed, very, uh, uh, you noticed that there was the big debate in the US what about the relation with China as far as concerns the uh, uh, artificial intelligence? 
So the, the experts were discussing in the US, it's not about Silicon Valley, it's about the whole US. The, the question of what they should invest, because the Chinese, they will invest in artificial intelligence. Some days ago, we had the first accident when the uh, autonomous uh, car killed the person, killed. We don't know, because there was someone I inside the car. But anyway, <coughs> something which is uh, in the normal world is not a special, special event, S the, the car accident. Uh, uh, two days ago, it was the big news around the world. The autonomous car killed a person. So this is, this is, we are living in this context. So, so that's why when we start to speak about digitalization, we, we should think that this, this is a part of our life. This is a part of our life, in the good and bad, in the, in the advantages and dangers. So we, sh we should absolutely enter in this, in, in this field and to think how, what we can do. So that's why when we discuss the MFF, and I think this is one of the biggest mistakes we are doing, and I'm learning it, because the, uh, before I was wor uh, uh, working in the uh, regional funds, et cetera, et cetera now I, I, I'm in the budget person. What I'm learning is that very often we are making the mistake that we concentrate on 1%. We are concentrating on the European budget, <coughs> and this is not enough, because in fact, we should discuss what all the member states they want to do together. Do they harmonize the, poli <coughs> the policies among them? What about their priorities? All, all the member states, do we have the same priorities? Not in the budget. Do we have the same priorities? All the member states with all the policies. This is the, this is the real problem. Uh, are all of us, are we, uh, uh, do we agree, do we agree that all of us, in our, all our policies, we should concentrate on the digitalization, <coughs> on the horizontal way? D for example, do we agree, all of us, that we should have a common security policy protecting the borders, for which today we need absolutely digitalization of, of, of the whole service? Do we agree about this? If we agree, if we, if do we agree, all of us, about the transport system, about the uh, <coughs> uh, uh, link between different data systems? Because if we don't have, as you know much better than me, if we don't have a clear link between these different systems, the whole system is, is, is very weak. So do we agree about this? We still, we don't speak about MFF. We are speaking about you. So the, the question is, what about all the policies inside the EU? Just today, we had the information from UK that they will, they will withdraw from the so-called, so I don't know in English, it's action groups uh, in, the, on, in, in the EU protection system, in the EU special groups uh, in the army. And they were planned to be present in next, next year in 2019. And today they said, we will withdraw. So they will not take part in the security system. Two days ago, Theresa May said, we will never leave the security system. And today they said that we will leave it next year. So is it about money? No, no, this is about you. What, we, what is the coordination of different policies? What about this C CAP, Co Common Agriculture Policy? Not, not in terms of d direct payments. What about agriculture? Agriculture in EU. And next, what about money? So the moment we will discuss the, the, the EU as such, as a whole, all the policies of 27 countries in the future, the next step is, all right, if we agree in a common integrated uh, system, which part of it we can do together? Which part of it we can do together with the common policy? What we would like to do together means, not at the same time, because this is intergovernmental. What we, we can do as a common policy, where we have one budget, where we have one institutions, and we have one system. This is different question. This is about 1%. Please do not forget 99. 99 is, it, it, one, EU is not 1%. EU is 100%. The 1% is what we can do together. The question is what we really need the money for 
as a common policy. There, this is about subsidiarity and this is about added value. Added value is, I love it, it's an absolutely beautiful slogan. It, it's like subsidiarity very often. I mean, if you want to kill something, you'll say it has no subsidiarity. And nobody will if so because nobody understands really what you're talking about because there are 100 mini meanings. It's a, you, you like added value. You can blame someone as this is not added value finished. What it really is, we, we, sh we should agree on the meaning. What is the added value of this 1%? This is something which is impossible to be done uh, alone by one member state. It doesn't mean that it cannot be done. I mean, let's be clear. Everything can be done on the national level, everything. I don't know anything which cannot be done on the national level except maybe on the space policy. Everything can be done nationally. The question is what, what is what will not be done without European money? I, I, I was listening to Michal uh, very, very carefully and said, okay, we need European money, but can we do it with the, without European money? Of course we can. The question is, will we do it? Will we do it in such a scale? No. We will do it now or later. We will do it better or worse. So that's why sh we should concentrate what we can do together first, because it's impossible to start it alone, or what can we do together, because it has a real advantage. This is the leverage system. If we don't use even small amount of money, it will not start. So, so that's why this, we should concentrate on this 1% as a sp something which has a real added value. I, I remember the, uh, one of the ministers in, Copen, uh, in Copenhagen during the conference on the uh, budget, he told me one of the most imp things which are useless, useless for Europe, no added value, is the bicycle roads. Bicycle roads is useless for, for Europe. I mean, it, it can be done by the cities, by the member cities, okay. But the question is different. How we can make the cities to do it? Uh, th that's why we use money to motivate, to facilitate, to start, to open. This is the real issue, and this is the added value. Is it possible to make the bicycle road by, by the city? Of course it is. The question is how to make it work. So that's why if we, we, when we start to speak about digitalization, okay, the question is what we can put into the so-called 1% of GNI which can facilitate, we can open, we can push the, the whole system. What, what should be done? There is a tendency, and I will not give you the names, to have a special part of budget heading digitalization, which will be only for the Brussels. My question was, what about the cohesion policy? My, the answer from some part of the commission was, it's not digitalization. This is the broadband. I mean, broadband is, broadband is just network. I mean, the, the infrastructure. We are concentrating on serious problems like digitalization. Digitalization is the European system of 5G. Is it enough, 1%? I mean, a one part of 1% uh, is not enough. It's not enough. This is not serious. The question is how can we use a part of, of money to, to open, to facilitate, to push someone to do it? So that's why what has been said, we should think about the digital elements in each of European policy in each of European policy, and how to make it complementary, how to, how to use European money to create a real system, which we don't have in, in many, many fields in Europe. Still, we don't have it. In services, in the labor market, we don't have it. But let's maybe start with digitalization. So maybe this is the way to make this, the whole system more integrated. So it should be first of all, and this is a kind of slogan, but, but this is very clear. We should have it in each policy. Each policy. You're going to. And uh, <coughs> if it's in each policy, it means that uh, uh, we, should f we should now operationalize it in the, in the, in the budget. And okay, we, we can have it. And not to concentrate on one sectoral element, because I would like to, to, to finish with one sentence. Up to now, when I talk, for example, to the Greens in the Parliament, they are satisfied when they have everywhere sustainable, because they think that everything should be sustainable. I think this is one of the biggest slogan in the EU last year, everything sustainable. Today, this is as important as sustainable. 
Let's do everything which is digital. I think this is something which is very important, not to push it into one, one, one box because we will be lost. Thank you.